Right. Hi. <laughs> See? Look at you. Looking jolly. Yes, thank you. Why are you so happy? I'm at Barrel of Winery. And why is that again? It's in Delaplane, Virginia. You know, I asked the question not to be funny thank because you. Yes. in this past 24 hours, I heard that I crossed like across three states. Yes. I live in Miami. And I go to Orlando, it takes me four hours. I go to um, Gainesville, it's about six hours. So in one state, I can get lost and no worry about being in Atlanta. How did you get here? How did I get here? I uh, started drinking wine when I was uh, 12 years old at my parents' table. Um, I grew up in a fairly progressive family where uh, we were taught to have an appreciation for handcrafted items and my parents just really valued the, the history and tradition of wine and the handcraft that it represents. And growing up in that home and then um, pursuing an education at Virginia Tech where I had the pleasure of living with um, viticulture majors and um, people interested in the culinary arts, I gained a real appreciation for wine. Shortly after graduation, um, I moved to Northern Virginia where there happens to be a prevalence of up and coming wineries and I worked for two years managing another winery close by and then uh, ended up here at Brian and Sharon Roeder's property, Barrel Oak Winery. And I've been here since about six weeks before we opened, um, really enjoying the products that they um, produce. Uh, we represent uh, a broad variety of Virginia grown grapes. I'm holding Save All Blanc, uh, which is a... Let me see, can we see that? It's... Can we see that? Yeah, there you go. And uh, how, how do you like this compared to the other whites? Um, I'm a, a dry, acidic white wine fan. I love um, very bright flavors, nice acidity. This wine has a uh, note pear and gooseberry, also a little bit of um, citrus, right. lime, um, orange rind, lemon. It's right. a wonderful pairing for seafood. Uh, it's just a beautiful wine. It's a beautiful color. It's one of our greatest successes so far. It, Not the Norton? Marcella. Yep, the Norton has been a huge success. So surprising that a, a grape from the native soils of Virginia. And I think that's what it is. I think that's the reason. I think. That could be. Do you have a wine when you are sad that you go to? When I'm sad. When I, I mean, when you are crying. Because, because when you think about wine, you don't think like that. You think about music like that. When you are sad, crying, going to a funeral, like today's 9-11, there's a sad thing. Uh, there should be a, a blue wine. A wine. There is, I think. Huh? I mean, why do people listen to the blues? Well, of course. To lift Good. them out of their sadness. I understand that. A deep, smoky Cabernet. How can you translate, oh, a deep, smoky Cabernet? One that sort of whispers. Exactly. Yeah. To me, when I tried Norton, I'm like, oh. And there's an interesting spice aroma to that Norton that may be familiar to you, and that's tamarind. Ah, that's what it was. I always detect tamarind in a Norton. Okay. And um, it's something that's very unique in that grape, the tamarind spice, and that could be why Norton is one of your favorites. But this Norton is really, really different. different. Yes. Norton is one of those grapes that is a, a love-hate grape. That's some, right. one thing that we describe it as in the Virginia right. wine industry. Right. We, our methodology of making wine with the Norton grape is to right. let it do what it wants right. to do. Right. And it will speak what it wants to speak.